looking at the back entrance of Oryukdo Sunrise Park in Busan, Namgu, Yongholdong. We are near the back gate of Oryukdo SK View. If you watched episode number zero of the series, you probably recognize this staircase from the end of the Oryukdo tour. Today we are going to take a side path. We're going this way. We're going into a small new park called Navy Hill. Navy Hill is part of a military base, and on weekdays, which are not holidays, it is open to the public. Navy Hill will lead us to the Eagie Day Beltway, where we will continue to explore the Eagie Day Park area. Yong Ho Dong Village Bus number two moves over to this area. You can take it to this bus stop at the back entrance of Oryukdo SK View. Then go down this. And just before you get to the security gate, you can come on up this trail. This pathway continues down into what looks like it's going to be a lovely area. This path, by the way, is not yet finished. It has been under construction for a while. Let's go down and take a look. I can take this path to the right up into the park, but I'm going to head back the way I came so we can get a little bit more of a forest walk. I lovingly refer to North Korea as Joseon Bakgengi Wanguk. That is the Kami Kingdom of Joseon. I think that the Democratic People's Republic of Korea is one of the most hilarious names for a country that anyone has ever coined. It has four major words and three lies. It is not democratic. It does not belong to the people. It is not a republic. It is a commie kingdom. The name Joseon refers to the dynasties of Korea from the very beginning. 
The ancient Korea and its dynasties are known as Gojo Sun. That simply is ancient Joseon. Uh, North Korea has continued with Kim Il Sung and then Kim Jong Il and Kim Jong Un as the current dynasty of Joseon. The purpose of this new facility is not entirely clear. However, this is a military reserve training base. This area has been set aside for training the military because the Republic of Korea remains technically at war with the Kami Kingdom of Joseon up in the north. All men are required to serve, I believe, 20 months in the military. They must then, throughout their adult lives until they reach middle age, supplement their training with occasional weekends. So this facility is open for training on weekends and on public holidays. In Korea, we call these red days because the calendar will actually have the day shown in red as a public holiday. The rest of the time, this park is open to the public. This is a Thursday morning that I have come here. There's almost nobody here. It is not staffed. It is not manned. There are no gates, no fences, no bars, nothing to stop me from coming in. When we get to Navy Hill, I'll show you the posting. Now up there is a somewhat older building, which tells us that this is for the military reserve training. I will not be going up there because I'm sure the building is closed. And since I'm not in the Korean military and hope never to be, I have no business up there. From this giant parking lot, over there is a path to what I think are some barracks. Let's go take a look. I've walked into a small area which appears to contain a cluster of condominiums. I suspect that these are some kind of barracks. Behold Oducto SK View, where I live. There's another side trail here, starting down there and going up the hill. This leads into more specifically military areas, so I'm not going to take this path for now. Juntu Ryak Bok One Center, Navy Hill. I will need to get a translation of that. They're working on putting in a soccer field here. We have emerged at the Igi Day Beltway. This direction heads into Yongho Dong. There's a lovely boardwalk on the way in. This direction leads into Igi Day. It also leads up to the large rest area and the path into Mount Firstborn, Jangjasan. But we're not finished exploring Navy Hill. The sign you are looking at says 
Navy Hill or Navy Hill in Korean. The script is called Hangul. There's a small parking area. Here's the entrance to the park for children. The informational sign explains that the park is open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Closed on weekends and public holidays. This is a military reserve training facility, so the weekends and public holidays are reserved for the reserve. Here's a map of the children's play area. This is a rather interesting play area, and I think some of you will get a kick out of it. This is the Mount Firstborn Forest Playground. Uh, it says Jangja San. Jangja is firstborn, San is mountain. So I tend to translate Jangja San as Mount Firstborn. The next syllable is Soup, which means forest. I do not actually know what Chehum Jang means, so uh, I will look that up, and if you have the closed captions on, there should be an annotated footnote explaining what Che Hum Jong means. We have a covered seating area. Right next to a small stage. So people could do performances or presentations out here. It would be fun. This path leads in. Now the comedy here is that you have a scaled down obstacle course. That is, they've taken a military obstacle course and scaled it down for children. We have some giant Lincoln logs for seating. There's a lovely rope swing, which looks quite uncomfortable. My children thought that this looked fun until they attempted to play in it. This bridge actually is cool. Notice that each rung on the bridge is hanging independently. So each rung will swing with each footstep. It is quite a fantastic challenge to cross this and entertaining for children. Here we have an oversized sawhorse to jump over. Another one here. Some nice log balance beams. There's a small observation deck here. This will probably make an excellent vantage point for watching soccer games once the soccer field is completed. This swing looks like it might actually be fun. I had a fabulous time with my children here, setting goals to get from tree to tree while playing The Ground is Lava. We're now heading out onto the Iggy Day Beltway to see a few more things. At this intersection, going left will take us to Oryukdo SK View, where I live. 
going straight will take us to the boardwalk into Yonghodong on the Igide Beltway. And first I'm just going to cross the street. This small staircase and footpath begin the ascent up Mount Firstborn. If I were to do a video dedicated solely to hiking Mount Firstborn, I most likely would begin here. However, I want to take us to the boardwalk. Here's the official beginning on this side of the Iggy Day Waterfront Park. This path will walk you past some military areas and lead you directly toward the summit of Mount Firstborn. However, we will go this way. If you need to come out here by bus, the Yongholdong Village Bus Number 2 does stop out here, but you really need to tell the driver that you actually want to stop here because nobody gets off or on here. This is the boardwalk into Yongholdong. It brings you quite close to nature. If you want to get off in the boardwalk, you can also ride Yonghodong Village Bus Number 2 right here. This is the entrance to Byoksan. There's a road that goes downhill, but you don't need to go there. There's nothing interesting to see. So if you want to walk the boardwalk, just ride the Yongholdong village bus number two to Byoksan. Continuing this way leads into Yongholdong. Busan does a really fantastic job with its city beautification projects. These roadside bushes look fabulous. Kagu, 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 kagu. Furniture, 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 furniture. I'm actually walking through the furniture sales district. I'm simply not turning the camera to show you the stores. Living Ferny Mall. Now it might look as if the name of this place is Dab One, but that's only if you're reading it as if it, it is English. This is actually Romanized Korean. It is Dabulne, which means, look at all this. It's a really cool name, actually. It doesn't work in English. It's too long and too difficult. But this is just three syllables. Double ne in English. Look at all this. It doesn't work, but it works really well in Korean. The Living Ferny Mall. If you're shopping for furniture in Korea, you might want to check this place out. And there's a cafe. Stock Coffee. Here's the Yongho Rotary. In this direction is Yongho Dong. This way goes to Shinsundae and the docks. 
Down the hill goes to Bacon Pole. And up this way goes to Oriukdo. We just came from this direction, from a side street a little bit off to the right. A full tour of Shinsandai is given in episode number two of Busan Geographic. Yongho Dongjang Henya Ijip. House of the Ocean Women, 400 meters. Ha means ocean or sea. Nya means woman. Uh, Korea has an interesting tradition of the Hanya or the ocean women, usually fishing and diving women who make a living from the ocean. They're still in this area, even though it's highly developed and much more modernized. Here's a sign for Garmet Gil, the Seagull Trail. Yongho Nongjang, the Yongho Farm, Dragon Lake Farm, 800 meters. This sign for Bacon Pole was featured at the end of Busan Geographic number two, Shinsunday. This tells about Bacon Pole. Here's part of Yongho Nongjang. We have another view of Shinsunday. Yongho Nongjang is built on some old oceanside terraces. You can see I'm well above this part of the farm, but the land was flattened a long time ago to allow for convenient farming. There's quite a series of terraces in this area. Down below here, you can see Bacon Pole, White Cloud Port. Bacon Pole is home to a lot of athletic facilities. There are athletic fields, an ice skating rink, and a public swimming pool. The mountain is Huangyangsan, which is where you will find Shinsunday. We are looking at an example of terrace farming. This hillside that I'm standing on goes right down to the ocean. Terraces have been cut into the hillside to allow for convenient flat farming. This is a very old tradition used in some countries for a very long time. This road leads to the back entrance of Oriukdo SK View, where this video began. Oriukdo Elementary School serves the residents and children of Oriukdo SK View. It is actually located within the complex of Oriukdo SK View. Meanwhile, Oriukdo Middle School is across the street. The front gate to Oriukdo Middle School is guarded by a dragon. This bridge spans the road which runs between the ocean and Oriukdo SK view. Over there is the Oriuto Skywalk. Here we have Oriuto. Young Island and Joe Island or Bird Island, Youngdo and Jodo. Continuing to the right is Bacon Po and Shinsunde. 
I'm going home now.